importing and analyzing survey data in Atlas TI 9 windows. Most online survey software like Google Forms, SurveyMonkey, Qualtrics, and the like have an option to export the results as an Excel table. In order for Atlas TI to understand the data correctly, you need to add a bit of syntax to the column headers, as shown in this example. The data are imported case-based. This means that each row corresponds to one respondent. The first column header, prefixed with an exclamation mark, allows you to create user-defined names for each document. The default is case 1, case 2, case 3, and so on, but it can be anything you want. The first column also does not have to be entitled exclamation point case. It can also be exclamation point respondent number or exclamation point questionnaire number. As long as the first column is prefixed with an exclamation point, the names in each cell will be used as document names. If your survey has variables like gender, family status, educational level, years of professional experience, and so on, this information can be imported in the form of document groups. If you have a variable with more than one value, you prefix it with a colon. Then, from each of the values, a document group is created. For gender, as shown in this example, it would be the two document groups, gender male and gender female, and further groups if you have more than two values. If you have questions with yes and no answers, and you only want to create a document group from the yes answers, then you can prefix the column with a period. The cell values can be yes and no, or 1 and 0, as shown in the example here. Now let's move on to the answers to open-ended questions. These will make up the body of the text in Atlas TI, data that you will code in more depth. The purpose of the document groups created from the variables, as shown previously, is to compare and contrast the respondent answers by gender, age group, and so on. All open-ended questions are automatically coded with the text that you use as a column header. We recommend that you use the question number as a column header name. There is no prefix. If the question number is followed by two colons, the full question is automatically used as a code comment. In the example shown here, only one colon is used after SQ2, Survey Question 2. In order to show you the difference between the two options, once the data is imported into Atlas TI. If the question is lengthy, we recommend to add the full question as a code comment using the two colons, otherwise the code name will be very long. You need to close the Excel table before you import the data into Atlas TI. From the main ribbon, select the Import and Export tab, and from there, Survey. Select the Excel file, click Open, and wait for the data to be imported. Open the Document Manager to check all the document groups that were imported. If you select a document, you see the groups that are associated with it. Open the Code Manager to see the codes for your open-ended questions. At the beginning of this video, we showed you that the full question can automatically be added as a comment if you use two colons behind the question number when preparing the Excel table. Load a document to see the auto-coded open-ended questions. You can now continue with analyzing the data, for example, by exploring the content using word clouds or word lists, using the text search tool, entity recognition, or sentiment analysis. Reading through the open-ended questions and coding your data manually will complement the analysis. You will find links to video tutorials that explain the mentioned functions in the comment section below. Next, we show you two analysis tools that are typically used with survey data. This is the code document table, where you can compare and contrast respondent answers based on the variables you imported as document groups. The results can be shown in the form of numbers, frequencies, and percentages. You can inspect the qualitative data behind each number, and you can visualize the findings in the form of a Sankey diagram. Another way to analyze survey data is to explore the co-occurrence of codes. As all questions are automatically coded, you can see which issues were mentioned in relation to specific questions. As has been explained for the code document table, the results can be displayed in the form of numbers, you can inspect the qualitative data behind the numbers, and you can visualize the findings in the form of an interactive Sankey diagram.